Okay. I'm getting a thumbs up from Jason. I'm just waiting to make sure this is working on here. So, uh, come on, come on, come on. Good morning. Good afternoon. I know. I just Hello, like good afternoon. Good night. Working. Come on, work, damn you, work. Yes, it looks like we're working. Okay. Right, well, um, if you are watching, um, hello everybody and uh, welcome to the uh, Prop Dog Friday Live. Um, right, so first of all, we did have a lot of IT issues last week. I say IT issues, just technical issues. Um, for some reason, everybody's phone wasn't working properly. Something to do with this new uh, iPhone uh, update. So the microphone kept, well, kept stopped working. Um, so fingers crossed it's okay now, but we're on my phone at the moment. Now I've been spending oh, about three or four hours at the, the um, Apple store yesterday just trying to get my phone sorted, but hopefully it's gonna work all the way through with no problems, but uh, we shall see. Um, we just seem to be plagued at the moment with these damn IT problems. So anyway, hello everybody, um, good afternoon and welcome. Uh, as usual, we are here for you guys. So is there, if there's anything in, in the shop you wanna see, anything you wanna talk about, please let us know. We've got a ton of questions that people have asked already. Um, but first of all, Cash says he's got something he wants to, to say or, or something, so before I go any further, uh, you were gonna I've got a simple question for you today. Just say what you see. A card. Marines, <laughs> eh? You, you said see what I see. The letter Dave. Oh well that sorry I'm oh, sorry, I've got to do this. Um hang on. Oh, here oh, it comes. R. That work? I pretend I've got a, a spike. R. Okay, so it's an R. Okay. U E No 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 no. It's a red E. Now that we know what we're looking for, we'll start again. Right, right, let's do this nicely. Go ahead. <laughs> R. The pirate. You. Yeah. Red E. Two. I see a pattern come along here. <laughs> C. Magic. Yeah, that's brilliant. Ooh. That is great. Love All right, it. now that we've got that over and out of the way, shall we start the show properly? <laughs> I'm shell shocked. Are you ready to see magic? Shocked. Mind blown. Are you I'm ready to see some magic? Where was the letter sum? Did she have a letter sum? We'll find a sigma. Okay, right, let's see who's on. Let's see who's on. Okay, so we have started, and uh, right, guys, can you hear us? Okay, is this microphone working? Uh, let's have a look. Right, no one's complained so far. It must be good. Bobo, can I move your tail feathers? Go on, move. I can't see the screen. I think, you know, Just so you there. guys That's know, it. that is an effect that we're, 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 we've got in store for you guys in case you Oh, sell that? Oh, yeah. yeah. The Tommy, the James. James. Tommy James. I'm downstairs. I don't know what we guys are selling. Okay, what is it? Where did I put it? Oh, is this all the Tommy James stuff from the US? The, yeah, one of the new yes, Tommy James items. Okay, so um, are we going to be talking... opener. Okay, are we going to be talking about the Tommy James stuff? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Sorry, guys, I, I, I'm completely out of the... Uh, it's the Magic Circle Dealers Day tomorrow, so I've spent the last two or three days getting everything ready for that, so I'm out of the loop on anything we're going to be doing today. So I'm relying on Cash and, and Jason to, to let me know what's going on. So, uh, all right, so okay. I'll let Jason hit that up in a little bit yeah, when you've got about that, that in bit, yeah? Right, okay, so let's do some hellos and see who's around. So, um, oh, there's no one on yet. Our friend Walter's watching. No, no one's watching. Walter. <laughs> okay, uh, Finley. Hello, Finley. Uh, okay, we've got Owen, Nick, uh, and Andrew. Uh, Roy Brando says hi, guys. Owen says yo. Frank Valenti says hi, guys. Tom Bray says hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, uh, these are all the regulars. Uh, Jim, hello, Jim. Uh, Quick hello. Uh, Seb Fard. Uh, ooh, Brian good. Robson good. says sound is on. Good, getting popular. Good, good that's enough. good to hear. So, uh, right, okay. Um, I won't like all these now too much. Barry Green. Hello, Barry. Did you get your pad, Gary? Hopefully you did and hopefully you like it. It was sent out yesterday. Uh, all the printing was finally done. Uh, right, Roy says, uh, Android never had a problem. Apple weren't <laughs> deserved. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, basically, my phone just suddenly stopped working. Uh, funny enough, almost two years exactly after my... Uh, um, well, after I got it, so that's when my contract runs out. It always seems to run out almost exactly when my contract is due for renewal. It's just, yeah, I'm getting really wound up with iPhones at the moment. Uh, right, uh, David Harris has joined us, Mark Collin, Alan Morrison, hello, hello guys, Jake Allen, um, Jake, whichever Jake you are, because we've got two Jake Allens. Uh, right, Tom Cocker says, hello, could you please demo Hook by uh, Eric Ross? Uh, I see you're shipping it next week. Yeah, hello, Tom. So, um, Oh, thank God. We've been talking about Ross nearly every live for the last seven months, haven't we? Yeah. So um, uh, it's such a great effect hook. Um, 
it's basically, it was unavailable via wholesale for a long, long time. Eric was only selling it himself on his website, but now it is available to, uh, to have a wholesale. Uh, we get our delivery on a Monday, but unfortunately we don't have it in stock. We haven't even seen it yet. I know the effect, I know a lot about the effect, and it's a brilliant effect, but we haven't got any units till Monday. So um, they're going on the, the website live. Uh, is it available now yeah, to buy? Yeah, shipping Tuesday. Okay, because we because our mail's gone now, whatever you buy now gets shipped out Monday, so it won't make any difference. So it's now available over the weekend. It will be shipped out Monday. Uh, we've got 30 units in, and I think they sold out again worldwide already. So we're lucky to have got 30 units. But really looking forward to that, and we will most likely dem it on uh, Friday next week. So uh, one yeah. of us will uh, uh, have our cheeks ripped out of our, our heads. There we go. Right. I can't wait to see it. But yeah, Tom, uh, if you can just be patient, my friend. Uh, one week's time, we'll see it. Right. Uh, hello, Aaron Allen. Alan Robinson says, hello, gents. Um, Roy Brownlow, what is... Uh, sorry, what was that? I like it. Um, oh, flash uh, card, yeah, flashcards. Flash yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. I think we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, Roy. So uh, that'll be good for kids. And um, is it... Is it yeah, I think that'll well, that, 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 that work as well. As well. Yeah. Compare yeah. magic, it's good fun. Yeah, not if you're serious, man. I mean, Darren Brown wouldn't get away with that, but you know, if, you're, <laughs> if you're a fun magician, yeah, absolutely. I would. Yeah. So, uh, right. Uh, da, da, da. Otto, hello, my friend. Uh, Otto is our Swedish pyromaniac. I mean, our uh, R&D department uh, for uh, pyrotechnics uh, in Sweden. Um, David Barry, yes, hearing is fine. Mark Cullen sound is fine. Brian Robson sound is on. This is great. Hopefully, it's going to stay on, and the video will stay on, and there's going to be no issues because I'm getting fed up with it. We look like amateurs. <laughs> Well, we are, we are amateurs. Yeah. Um, Michael Brimmer, afternoon sound is very uh, and vision is very loud and clear. Well, well the vision shouldn't be loud. It's uh, always on uh, low res for um, live for videos. Which is a shame. If anyone does know how to do a live video in a high res, please let us know. I can't find any information on the internet about it. Uh, Barry says, any idea when Wonder Pop will be back in? Are we out of Wonder Pop? So, oh, are, yeah. uh, yeah, Murphy's are out as well, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. So there is a worldwide shortage of Wonder Pop. I don't even know if it will ever be back available again. Um, but uh, can we make a note to... Um, who should we have a word with? Um, we'll, we'll email one of the guys and see if we can get some more in. Uh, bypassing Murphy's, if Murphy's aren't going to have it. It's isn't it? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I know somebody to contact. Uh, Tony says, uh, Cash has a beard trim. He won't be able to hide a card in there anymore. Yeah, I can still actually pull a card out from there. Look, look how sharp it is on the edges. Look at that. Look, sharp as hell. Yeah, oh, you can yeah. still do cards. Yeah. We had, uh, I think it was uh, Tony in yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tony came in, I whipped out cards, so no problem there. You could still do cards. But what, what's good now is it's not long enough to hide the V. Oh, okay, so before. Cash's beard was so long, you couldn't see the, the, this part of the V. So it looked, because uh, it's fairly dark around here, because we've done the light shining off my forehead. Um, because of that, his whole face kind of merged into his, his top. It's, it kind of looks the same colour in the low red, so it looked like Cash didn't have a neck. Um, or a very hairy chest. Nah. But yeah, it does look very good. Very style, like this little wispy oh. thing up there as well. Yeah, I good. didn't wax the moustache today, but yeah, we're getting there. There we go, right, okay. Um, so Nick Crown says hello. Darren Snellgar, hello my friend, how are you? Um, Hans says hi in Sweden. Uh, Shane McDonough says what's up? What's up? Okay. No, but then he no, ruins no. that by giving us a kiss afterwards. Um, so uh, uh, right, Max uh, <laughs> Gibson, hello Max, one of our uh, most regular customers. Um, Thomas Swanda says hello from Georgia, USA. Hello across the big pond. Good to see we're reaching out all over the world. Uh, oh, Barry says, all received, great stuff. Glad you liked it, uh, Barry. Uh, Tom's joined us as well, Tom Ludinson. Hello, buddy, how are you? Uh, Oliver Graham, Alan Ronson, you need to move uh, to Android. Yes, I know, Alan, uh, everyone's saying that. I'm due an upgrade, uh, and I might just say what the hell and go with it. Uh, Michael Cooley, is everything uh, on the Tommy James on the website is there more to go on? Is it's there, all on there now. Yeah. It's all on there, all on uh, Michael. Editions. So yeah, uh, and Jason will be talking about it in a little while. So uh, Mark Super says, uh, hi guys, what's the difference between Extractor V1 and V2? Uh, V2 is the second one. <laughs> <laughs> V1 is good, V2 is even better. Um, do you know from, the official difference? From what I know, oh, I'll come around and talk about it because I don't know if you can I'll hear me. Okay. Um, from what I know... Tag team, like little, tag team out. Little you know, tag team out. Strictly's back. Yeah. Um, so tag, tag team. Now wrap a, a folding chair around his head. Um, we don't have folding chairs, we'll have to use a real one. You guys don't watch WWE. I used to what when I was... Yeah. That's what you do, tag team um, Good. Uh, yeah, what are we talking about? Extractor. Anyway, oh, shotgun. Extractor. V1, V2. So I, I own V1, um, and I've had a look at V2 in the shop, so I'm no way an expert, but what I believe the difference is, with V2, you finish with the card they have chosen and signed in a deck of the opposite colour in the right order. So say they've chosen the right. four of clubs, 
But the utility gimmick is that the same? I believe it's the same. Yeah, I right. did look at the V2 last whenever it was that Cash and I talked about it on the show briefly, um, and it felt similar to the one that I had at home, which is the V1. But with with the V1, basically you're getting a card signed, return to the deck, and then you are able to take it out of your back pocket, or from right. you can get the get them to sit on it if you you know if you're quick. So you can have their card disappear. But the V2, I believe the routining is such that. They can have you can have a blue deck. Have them choose any card from a blue deck. They sign it. It's returned to the deck, and then it's in a, a different deck. In a red deck, the blue card that they've signed is in the right, right. position. Okay. So I believe the routine is different. I, I mean, they've probably made improvements to the, to the gimmick, but mm -hmm. not noticeable is for me when I picked it. Is still available? Available? Do you know? Or I not? don't know. Right. Well, we got. We the only have the two. The power of the masses now. So if anyone uh, knows specifically the difference, somebody may go on to it. Straight away gone. The gimmick's easier to swap over. The oh, effects okay. are the same. Okay. okay. That's from Adrian Pritchard. All oh, right. Fine. Well, thanks, Adrian. Uh, I appreciate that. Okay. Right. I uh, can take the gimmick out. Uh, easy to repair. Yeah. Okay. Finley says, uh, "Can you dem any card by Richard Sanders?" Um, uh, we even got. I don't think we got one set up. We mm, don't, no, I, I don't have set up. Yeah, uh, unfortunately we can't, Finlay. Um, Dean, who used to be here before, um, he's the one who uh, who done that and uh, basically had a deck made up, but we don't have one made up. He's with him, I think. So we would have to sit there and, and write it up and set it all up. We don't have one set up. Uh, we, we don't get a huge amount of walking customers in the shop, so a lot of things aren't always set up to be demmed. Uh, that was one that was uh, when it was new because we were demming it on the live. But yeah, unfortunately we don't have it now. It's brilliant. Um, but it is a really good effect, very simple. It works on a, a very similar principle to um, Invisible Deck, uh, but it's like Invisible Deck on complete steroids and uh, kicks ass out of it. Well, for a lot of people, so. it's replaced the Invisible Deck, hasn't it? Yes, They're yes, using it yes, instead. Yeah. So yeah. if it's going to do that, then it is, anything, it's, yeah. it's brilliant. Watch but, the old Friday Live. Well, yeah, we do have yeah. an old Friday Live where you can watch it then. It was about. Uh, it's the one where we sat on months. the sofa. That's right, yeah. So if you look for the one we're sat on the sofa doing the uh, the um, uh, rip off of the uh, uh, magic um, wizard, product, wizard review. product review, uh, it was the wizard product dog review, wasn't it? That's it, yeah. Uh, yeah, have a look on that. But to be honest, it's no different watching it on video than it is watching the live dem. It's it, what you see on the live dem is exactly as it yeah. does it. So it is great. Uh, right, hello Cameron Walsh. Uh, hello David Abel. Uh, Scott Perry. Hello mate. Um, right. Uh, Ian says, thank you for the flash paper and flash cotton. You're most welcome, Ian. Um, superb quality and extremely quick delivery. Cheers. Yeah, we do our best on the delivery. We go to the post office two or three times a day, so uh, we try and get everything out as fast as we can. Uh, Cameron says, hello, Pop Dog team. Hope you're all well. I I'm well. Are you well? I'm all right, yeah. Are you well? Yeah, a bit of a sore throat, but I'm good. You're going on holiday. You're good, Cash is not. Yeah, right. I know. Yeah, I can't afford um, uh, Darren says, hello again. Darren Snellgar. Uh, Neil Edwards, what is the worst product in the store? Got any proper awful? Uh, right, okay, so uh, ba, 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 ba. this entire <laughs> shelf. Oh, that is not fair. This entire shelf is that the worst is product. Fair. This is all just could, should be burned. This is our Sands Mines um, uh, one. So uh, I'll fish out a few things before you. Okay, before you the set worst fire, thing, so. the worst thing possibly in the whole shop is uh, Egyptian ink. Uh, so that's probably the worst one. Um, what is that? Egyptian ink. Yeah. Uh, well, I grab a coin, right. I sign my name on the coin, and I do some stuff, and it appears the signature appears on the coin in your hand. But, Sounds um, good. Yeah, yeah. If you watch the video, it looks good as well. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. Until you get oh, it, until okay. <laughs> so you get it, and yeah. you realise, hang on a minute, yep. you're not going to get yep. away with this. Yeah. Get your um, point. Things like uh, the um, uh, what do they call it? The invisible hand. Um, not the invisible, not the Verne one. The um, oh, I forget the name of it. When we got the bit of wire from here to oh, here, I know and exactly slides up and down, and even even in the instructions, isn't it, isn't it something assistant, secret, secret no, invi uh, invis invisible. Uh, I can't think of it. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, but anyway, I can't think of it. he's got blood all over his cuticles where it's digging into him on on the, the trailer and on the instructions. Just that's how bad it is, and it's, you can do it from one angle anyway. But yeah, there's loads of stuff in here that are really really bad. <sighs> um, a lot of the stuff on there from Sans Minds is what else we got. The rest of the stuff we usually destroy or get rid of or, or just don't bother stocking anymore so once it goes out. But um, Oh, there's lots. Quite often we, we talk about things that we're never going to get back in. Yeah, we get them in because we, we watch the trailer and we see something you see as well and we think that looks great yeah. and all of a sudden it's terrible. We delete so, a lot from the website as well. Ian um, Hans just giving you a lovely bit of advice. Move your can of pop before Bobo does what Bobo does. Yeah, Bobo yeah. did a few weeks ago in my kombucha that I made. Oh. Uh, yeah, and that popped right in it. Kombucha. Kombucha. Kombucha, yeah, kombucha. kombucha. yeah. Kombucha. But uh, luckily she can't quite reach out, but you're right, just a little bit more, just in case. Uh, right, uh, where, are we? where are we, where are we? Um, uh, but, 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 but your tail's right in the way, Bob. Come on. Um, Get off my tail. 
Ian Hallam, uh, no, we've done that one already. Um, done that one, done that one, done that one. I lost my place. Any escapology? Go. Um, uh, any well, we escapology? talked about the suit jacket escape. Yeah, we've got suit jacket escape. Escape. We've got straight jackets. We've got the tough cuffs by Prop Dog over here. We have... Um, in and out rope. Yeah, in and out rope escape. We have the Houdini ankle iron escape oh, yeah. over here. Yep. Uh, we've got the Houdini handcuffs, we've got lockpick sets, uh, we've got a whole load of escapology. In fact, we've got a whole category on the website just for escapology. Uh, but there's not a lot uh, we're going to have time to dem at the Can moment. Can you I talk about your, the straight jackets briefly? Because I get a lot of questions about that, asking if they're gimmicked or what... What's special about them? Uh, right, the straight jackets have a standard gimmick. You you can get unstraight, uh, ungimmicked straight jackets, um, but they're extremely difficult to get out of, take an, an, uh, years of practice. Uh, the gimmicked ones, uh, basically, you get in this position here, you are pulled as tightly as you can possibly pull, and you know, literally somebody can get the knee in your back and pull it as tightly as you can, do it all up, uh, and then when you want, you have the ability to then loosen everything off secretly without the knowing. I can't go too much into it because I'll give it away, but it will allow you to loosen things off enough to be able to get your hand over your head. And then once you get your hand over your head, you can get your hand out, go down and start undoing all the straps and oh, stuff like that. Great. So the argument, okay. um, yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, they're not just regular straight I'm not jackets. not a straight jacket user. Uh, Adrian Pajard, is the gimmick easier to swap? Oh, that's for the uh, uh, thing you write, Andrew Vaughan. Paul Martin, hello bud, how are you? Hi, Paul. Um, uh, Fraser Strokes joined. Uh, Andrew Vaughan, V2 allows the cars to partly come out of the box. Um, oh, that's good. With V2, yeah. Uh, Chris Kelly, do you have any Pro Mystic products? Right, um, Chris, Pro Mystic do not wholesale their, their products out to anybody. There's not a single shop in the world that sells Pro Mystic stuff except for Pro Mystic, so you can only get it direct from them, and their stuff is amazing and very pricey. And Craig Felicetti is a genius. Uh, right, Tom Brace, do you guys stock Torn Corner Machine? Uh, and if it is not similar uh, utilities uh, that mean you can tear identical corners from the cards? Yes, we do. So we sell Gettium or Gatum Blooms. Uh, I met Gettium the other day in, in uh, Genie Magazine, as uh, Genie, Genie Convention in uh, the US. He's a lovely, lovely man. Yes. Very clever, very humble as well. Um, but yeah, here we sell the Intersizer Intersis. by Intersis, uh, yeah. Gatum Bloom. Um, which Cash is about to find, it's behind the fire cage. It's in the DVD, it's in a yeah, DVD we've got a huge new case. fire cage here at the moment, so if you pull that across, um, it's behind there, and we can get that out. So yeah, that's the only one we actually do. Oh, in fact, um, we sold one this week, so we... Oh, you got it, well done. Oh, we do have one, yeah, so and that's exactly the Intersizer, right. and it's about £34, I think, or something, you can have a look on the website. If you don't know what the Intersizer is, guys, so basically, um, it's a laser cut piece of uh, gimmick that is roughly the same size of a card. You attach it to a card, so it's almost invisible in the deck. And that uh, gimmick then allows you secretly to tear off a corner of a card and it'll exactly match another one. And uh, I first saw it when Gatum lectured it in Blackpool about 15 or so years ago. No longer than that. Well, maybe 15. Some, anyway, he led it at Blackpool. And there was a very com funny comment he said, or, or a little story he told, where he had done this on a flight to somebody um, he met on an aeroplane. So just a random person. And he decided to uh, uh, force a card on somebody. And he then did the, uh, the corner tear. And then he, he escorted the guy to the toilet. And he basically flushed the card down the toilet and let him keep the souvenir. Uh, okay, he then went to his phone and he phoned up his friend who he knew has got the same gimmick and said, can you get a five or hearts or whatever the card was, use the Intersizer and get this card, put it in an envelope, put this name on it, seal it up and be waiting for us at the airport. So when this guy landed, he, he, you know, they followed each other through the customs and everything. And when you get outside and there's everyone waving a little uh, yeah, uh, name yeah, tag, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, yeah. There's, there's an envelope waiting for this guy and the guy was like, what, this is my name on it. He gave it to him, opened it up and it was the card, the same card he'd done and lo and behold, the corner matched, which is perfect. So that was a, a lovely, lovely story. Actually brilliant. So, so that is the Intersizer. Very, very cool. Intercessor. Intercessor, sorry. Intercessor, yeah. Intercessor, yeah. Tomato, That's tomato, so. potato, potato. Right, okay, Apple. next Broccoli. question. Orange. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, I've got an idea for Otter, the proper flash paper snowstorm in China. <laughs> yeah, a bit, of, uh, a bit of the old dragon breath will be good as well, you know. I can imagine, you know, all going up, a bit of dragon breath, light it up. Whoosh! Napalm in, yeah. oh, in Sweden. Uh, I want right. to give that a go. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, Justin Saul has joined, Mike McLaughlin's joined, Peter Meacham has joined, hello guys, uh, Peter Berry, Mark Kyer, Kirstein, uh, lots of people. Uh, Roy says, uh, I've got one deck, it's brilliant, easy to do in a full light, just be the four aces then use the deck. Uh, that's four ace, I'm guessing. Thank you for that, Roy. Uh, wow. 
I tell you what, we're not going to get to these questions because these know, are going up for money. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, in a minute, questions will stop and we can uh, work on to some of these other ones. Dave, I completely agree with you about Sans Minds products. Thank you, Fiddly. Scams Minds. Um, Otto Kramer, now we're talking. Yeah, we are, Otto. <laughs> Peter Booth. Booth, no mention of Twixter. Yeah, good call. Twixter, one yeah. of the worst tricks ever invented. And really badly made. We could have made that so much better. That's the first thing. Not that we'd ever make that. That's the yeah, first thing yeah, Cash wanted yeah. to buy. Yeah. yeah. Well, that says a lot about <laughs> Cash, doesn't it? There you go. Um, I like the cheesy stuff. Right, um, speaking of um, uh, 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 cheesy stuff and bad performances, uh, not that it's cheesy in any way. Um, right, guys, uh, we when we do these lives, we do our best to show you what we can. But more often than not, we get so little time to prepare for these things. So we'll do this, you just come in and we'll show you something very fast and we haven't got a lot of time to rehearse it. We've got four and a half thousand products in the shop. The guys can't you know, work on everything and, and be a perfect demo of it. So uh, we got really pissed off when the Magic Cafe uh, has a lot of hatred for the Magic Live when I was away in Genie and the guys, uh, it was Jason did a demo of um, Stasis, was it Stasis? Yeah. Stasis, and they ripped into him because it wasn't perfect, okay? And it wasn't a great demo. I mean, you had about, what, half an hour mm. to even look at it less beforehand, less, less than, than that, that. Yeah. and look at it and do it, and it wasn't a great demo. I mean, Jason's a really good demoer, but they ripped into the guys really harshly on the Magic Cafe, and that's out of order. Um, you know, it's a live video for you guys. It shouldn't matter if it's not the best demo in the world, but don't dig into our guys it's just not fair they're doing the best so uh our little word on there and if you want to go on the magic cafe and give everyone else shit booze guys giving them shit please do so rant over on with work right okay uh Ooh, Twixter was awful yes Neil Edwards <laughs> uh hello Lee James Darren and Matthew uh right uh Brian Robson says um as Dave says you won't get away with Egyptian ink good uh good but poor product. Yeah, thank you, Brian. Uh, awful. Uh, Danny Crook, I finally made it to a live viewing. Yes, Danny! Come Hi, Danny. on! You're here at last. We miss you. Ask a question, <laughs> Danny. Any no, uh, well, yeah, we've got a lot of questions. Well, we've got a lot of questions, yeah, yeah, yeah. but as he's live. I've got to get ready for the rest of the Magic Circle <laughs> these days, <laughs> so the, the sooner we finish, the better for me. Okay, Danny says, uh, I usually forget until I was uh, got a YouTube notification. Uh, after years on the fence, I finally got a Ring Flight Revolution BMW and could not be happier. Oh, great, thank you. If you ever get any problems with it, you do let us know, Danny. Uh, it's like a Kingsman gadget, so much fun. Nesting wallet, thanks Dave, uh, you're most welcome. Uh, and the prop dog team, of course. Uh, yeah, Kingsman uh, gadget, you know, I've always liked to think of myself as a little bit of a James Bond Q, you know, I'm down in the workshop, you know, putting lasers into watches and that yeah. kind of thing, yeah. yeah. Not that I've ever put a laser into a watch, but you get the idea. Yet. Um, yet. Yet, 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 yeah. there's always time. Uh, what are you doing, Bobes? You doing? She's putting a laser into a watch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brian says, "Can you set a reminder so it will pop up on Facebook as they come live?" Um, well, we put a note out in the morning to say we're going to do it and ask any questions. Uh, other than that, I don't know how to do any other reminders. If you uh, know, let us know. Yeah. So Jordan Murphy has joined. Hello, Jordan. If you don't know, Jordan is the uh, the genius behind all the pads we sell. Any pads we make and sell, these are all Jordan's original ideas and pads. We just uh, have a license agreement to to produce them uh, via Jordan. So uh, thank you, Jordan. Uh -huh. and Thank you, Bobo, for a big poop that missed my uh, can of Coke. Don't press the nine keys. No, yeah, I'll go in yeah. Nine. <laughs> Clean it up in a minute. No, in the um, sense of the word. <laughs> Nick Crown, any ideas for an all good audience warm up effect to replace thumbs routine that most of us do? Um, <laughs> Are you ready to see magic? Just did it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Watch the beginning of it, Nick. Um, so, uh, b -b -b I know what he means, like the. Yeah, a good old, the old uh, hand intro routine. Jobbing. Yeah. Um, um, Oh, that's quite a tough Black angle. Card opener. I'm just going to say it again. It's there. It's the best time to talk What's about it that. Could, yeah, but to get all the audience involved. I mean, they are involved because they're calling out the, the, the yeah, letters. But yeah, this is one it's not like the... That's the one he means, isn't it? The old yeah, yeah. yeah. This together. will take a bit of deep thought uh, to do. And probably there's a load of things you can do. Um, but uh, my mind at the moment is kind of on all the questions you've got to do. We so need, we'll have a little uh, think about it. And uh, if I can think of something during the live, we'll get back to you. Or if anyone else can think of anything. We need Mark Paul but, to yeah, come and tell us the... Yeah, probably lot. The origination of that. Nothing comes to mind really fast to say, oh, that's it, perfect for it. In fact, Paul Martin is watching, who uh, Paul does an awful lot of comparing and, and is awesome. So, Paul, if you've got any ideas. Well, mate, Paul's, Paul's mine, I keep getting the name wrong. Yours, mine, and the mystery, or mine, yours, and the mystery. Yeah, it's a great absolutely. Way to start. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great way yeah. To start. Uh, a great routine. Um, and Paul, at some point, or Jamie, or Paul and Jamie will come in and, and show you guys that. Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, right. Uh, hi, guys. Will you, uh, with the Mind Power deck, be available this weekend. Uh, right, it is coming in on Monday, is it not? 
Yes. Yes, it's coming in on uh, Monday, Gerald. So we will have it. We've been trying to get it all week, but we we finally got it. Well, it's we've got in bicycle Monday. coming Monday, and we've also got card chart coming. So we'll have the Phoenix yes, ones excellent. as well. We've got so penguin in today, but penguin, penguin. So all the penguin products will be back in stock, but they're not. The box hasn't been opened yet. Yeah, We're just so busy right. at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Tom Cocker says Alakazam Magic have recently put some Pro Mystic products on their site. Have they? Oh. Oh. Ooh. That is interesting. Thank you for that, Tom. Maybe they've changed their mind and starting to do it. I shall have a word, but I've, I've asked Craig like 20 times in the past four or five years, and he's always said, no, nope, not doing it. So that's really interesting to know. Thank you. I will look into that. Uh, Dave Bonney, hello, buddy. How are you? Um, Luke Cloth says, not question, but many thanks for helping me with my RFR last week. Superb customer service. Hopefully see you all tomorrow if you're coming to the TMC Dealers Day. Uh, you're most welcome, Luke. And yes, mate, I'm going, but the guys aren't. So uh, everyone's gigging in a way, and it's just a little on me on my own, unfortunately. So uh, Tom Brace is sold. I'll take it. Uh, Tom Ludington, Halloween ideas other than the screen. Hook. Hook will be good, that's out on Monday. We've got the Halloween uh, cutouts, the Phantom cutouts, 21st century Phantom cutouts. We do several characters, Frankenstein, Dracula, the It Clown, uh, Freddy Krueger. Uh, we've got the Evil by Andy Nyman, yep. uh, which are all in the case yep. for tomorrow. For Very the, scary. Uh, there. So uh, there's there? one over there. So okay, the Evil out, yeah. a great little one. Uh, you've got things like Cut 2.0, you've got the little voodoo doll. Uh, but Tom, if you go on the website, we've got a whole section, a whole category just on Halloween. So go to the homepage, scroll down, and everything you've got there that's suitable for Halloween is in that category. Yeah, and the Tommy James items that came in, we've got two new kids effects for Halloween. We've got Comeback Spider, which is a bit like uh, Cakes and Adders, if any of you saw me demonstrate that, with pumpkins, and the spider keeps coming back and jumping oh, okay. out. And one called Vampire Bee, which is a similar type card routine. So Michael Cooley, are you listening? A couple of things for children's magicians there as well. Awesome. This is your stage magician. Haunted Illusions, number oh. one. Uh, it's got great ideas on um, different stage effects, how to make and uh, build them. Uh, Brilliant. It's got stuff like, uh, well, it's got quite a bit in there really. I can't really go through everything. I think, I think Hook's going to be our big Halloween Hook's seller, hopefully. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. That is, honestly, that, just the idea of that, yeah. watching Cash do that is very worrying. Uh, so gonna, yeah, tune in next Friday. I'm going to give him a real trouble hook. Oh, okay. come uh, on, guys. Brian Robson is speaking very wise words. He says, screw the magic cafe. Yes, totally. Um, oh, I don't have time to go on there. Oh, they're that. just Speaks a bunch volumes. of videos. Just right, a bunch of videos on there. Yeah, tell you. Not everybody, but there's, there's a huge <laughs> amount on there that just want to troll everybody. So, uh, Right, Robert says, better late than never. Yes, about time, Robert. Um, Scott uh, Clark says, well said. Um, Otter pretty much uh, confirms my general impression of the magic cafe. Yep. Uh, Liam says, uh, your lies are epic. I look forward to doing it every, every uh, TV week. Um, so thank you, Liam. I appreciate that, my friend. Um, uh, Peter Meacham, probably something that should never be mentioned. Uh, you are deming a product to see if we might like it, not performing a routine for us. Thank you. Uh, Jordan Murphy, love you guys. Love you too, buddy. Um, Liam says, your lies are... Oh, we, that's repeated. Okay. Uh, James, yeah, Jason, you're the only person uh, to say my last name correctly first time. Uh, bonus, is that right? Bonus. Bonus, yeah. Bonus. Oh, do people say bone ass? No, no. <laughs> bonus. I mean, that's what bonus. they're going to be saying now. But... Uh, yeah, it's not my name. Everyone used to call me Bumsaw at school. Uh, right. right. It's not Simon Keane has joined. Nicholas Clements has joined. Uh, Matthew Wright joined. Hello, mate. Alan Taylor. Hello, mate. We're just talking about escapology and your straight jackets. Lots of people on today, um, aren't they? Yeah, Thank it's you. good, 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 uh, good turnout. So I get a uh, pop-up reminder. I don't know how. Ooh. How do we? I don't know how we get pop-up. I don't know. I'm, I'm, we'll look I'm, into I'm, it. I need millennials in here. I'm just we'll too old for this shit. So uh, right, Brian, Facebook has the option to set a reminder about live videos. Oh, okay, ah. uh, when they come up, I'll have a look into how to set it up. And you know, yeah, thank you, Brian. That's I'll so do that with yeah. the posts in the yeah. morning then, if we can yeah. find out how to do it. I mean, Dean is good because Dean knew so much about Facebook and, oh, and Instagram all the social media. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, mad, isn't it? Thing is, I'm just so busy all the time. I don't get time to look at it. It's just, I, it's, it's a necessity, not something I do for pleasure. Yeah, so, my uh, phone is currently used for getting to work and Paw Patrol. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. Right, not anyway. For me. There is a standing version of the hand twisting illusion. Uh, yeah, oh, no, yeah, that is Peter, great. That, that, that that's one a really there, good one. I think yeah. they were talking about that one rather than that one. But yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, Adrian, is there, a, there is a bell top right and it's set to uh, reminders. Oh, okay, I'll look at that. Remember that. A little bell on the top right hand of your screen. Uh, Michael Brimer, well done Dave for defending the lads. Good to see a boss supporting his staff. Really appreciate it. You're most welcome, uh, Michael. But uh, yeah. It's, it's not fair. I was rather pissed off of reading all that. It's just, it's not on. So, uh, yeah, we can't all be perfect all the time, like me. I'm looking forward to your demo later. 
<laughs> Jordan says, uh, to get notified when Prop will go live from a smartphone, tap the banner on the, uh, sort of the, the, the top banner, which brings up another banner at the bottom of the screen. There should be a bell with a line through it. Tap that and you should always get notifications when Prop will go live. Yeah, no, I know Excellent. how to do it on the phone, but how to how that we can send that to people is... is yeah. Walter says, says Coke enough. Dave. Yes, so I, I hate this. This is so sweet, but I wanted something fizzy. Now, I usually make my own kombucha. Uh, and I brew a lot of bottles of it. It's delicious. It's healthy. It's got no sugar in it. The problem is, I was away in Genie for a Genie magazine. A Genie, I keep calling it Genie magazine. Genie convention for a week in Florida. And my kombucha takes 10 days to brew, so I had to have time off. So I'm not going to get any more. My, my next batch is ready in about six days. So I'm without my kombucha, and I really do want something fizzy and uh, effervescent in my mouth. So um, yes, I'm on Coke, which is just so sweet. Oh, kombucha. 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 Uh, kombucha is lovely. Yeah. Uh, Jordan says he's going to put a post up with some screenshots for the Facebook. Amazing. Um, right, Michael Jordan. Cooley, can you show us ABC blocks and how heavy they are uh, and are they great for travelling with? Right, what so. Are they? I don't know. I, I can't show you them because I've not learnt it and I don't want to get in trouble with the cafe. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, can, we, can we show the box or some? Can we show the blocks? Oh, they're really, really nice. Yeah, right, yeah, they're it's just there, Cash, on that. On that Top of there, right. that's it, buddy. You might you need get to that and open up. Just, open just, up. Uh, to them. just show what they look like. So they are incredibly yeah. lightweight. Okay. They're, they're, they'll be perfect for travelling. Basically, the, the effect is if you've got a block with A, B, and C on a spike, yeah. and um, you put them in A, B, C order, yeah. and then the B keeps jumping to your hat or somewhere else. A bit like a die box type routine. So a bit like a, you know with stratosphere with the coloured balls where you've got the traffic lights. It's kind of like that, but with ABC blocks. Oh, okay, right. So uh, yeah, it's great. It's again, yeah. it's another Tommy James item. Um, really nicely made, very lightweight, great for travelling. Um, yeah, really good. Oliver Graham is saying hi, Bobo. My mole is still bleeding. Um, he hasn't got a pet mole that's injured. Uh, basically, Bobo. Uh, when she likes somebody, she wants to groom you, and her way of grooming you is to pull off any ticks or anything. That's kind of a, her instinct that's built in. So if you've got a little mole there, she'll go, oh, I'll clean it off you, I'll get that tick off, or that little grub or mite, whatever it is, and she just sometimes pecks your mole. So uh, she just caught Oliver right on the neck and made him bleed. So, not so this is ABC thing. Blocks. Again, oh. I, I don't want to perform it because I've not looked at a routine. But, um... Sorry, you didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag Magic Cafe are going to kill me now. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, that is actually really well made. As a prop maker, I can see that is very well made for what it is. I it's love this effect here. Yeah. This whatever material that I mean, I know it's a, obviously just a hologram type <sighs> paper, but I don't, Whoa, I, don't, I don't that. You see, it's good, wasn't it, Magic Cafe? Um, they are nice, aren't they? Yeah, that's very nice. But it's not heavy. I, when I saw it, I thought it was going to be really sort of yeah. chunky wooden. No. I mean, the one thing I want as a kids entertainer, and I carry a lot of stuff with me to my gigs, is <laughs> smash and stab. Should yeah. we do so that's a good Halloween? Halloween, isn't it? Halloween yeah. sword. I do. I do the nose. No, no oh, yeah. Don't even joke about it. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, what I want is something that's lightweight and it's gonna it's gonna be nice and big and colourful on stage. Put and on. this, this is on. exactly that. And then you have got the nice tube as well. It's about two hundred grams, maybe maybe. No, about 200 grams. Yeah, yeah. I was amazed when I weighed yeah. it because I, I put the weight on the website, obviously, for uh, postage. But um, right, a Jay lovely bit of kit. Very nice. Oh, and it goes with, sorry, um, there's a utility, I believe it's called a utility block box that Tommy sells. We also have a couple of those in. And that is a brilliant way. If you ever do a dye tube, um, not a dye tube, a, uh, a dice box, and the bit at the beginning where you have to put the dice in the hat before putting it back in the box, if you know what I mean, um, this utility box is well worth checking out because it's a way of showing that box empty right up until the moment the dice goes from the box back to the hat or to the box. It's really, really nice. It's quite simply made, but the effect is really, really good. So I check that out, and it's it's built to be in collaboration with uh, the ABC Blocks. Awesome. So check that out. Utility Block Box, I believe. It's all on recent editions. Right. Jason Stable says, "Have you got Invisible Cocktail by Dietrich? I don't even know what that is. Um, but Mike is, uh, he's in next weekend, he's doing the Dealers Day tomorrow in the Young Magicians Circle on, S Young Magicians Club on Sunday, so he's not going to be in this weekend, but when he's in next weekend we will ask him, find out, but if it's a D-trick vet we can almost definitely stop. Yeah, I've not heard Mike so talk unless about it's out of stock. Unless it's an old one. Uh, Chris says, uh, if you click the pop dog name at the top of the live video you'll see the, oh yeah, we've already, um, somebody's already uh, posted that, uh, Chris, so, um, Michael Fitch says he had fun performing the Lego house at the trade show for the weekend, uh, the, the mystery blocks uh, for two days. Great effect. Thank you, uh, Michael. 
Uh, Mark called Dave, where's the miracle juice today? Uh, Mark, I was just saying to the guys, it's kombucha and I had to brew it. And because I was in America for a week, uh, well, about eight days, uh, I couldn't brew during that period. So as soon as I got back, I put some under brew, but that's not going to be ready for another six days. So the miracle juice will be available then. And if anyone ever comes into the shop, um, ask to taste it. It is amazing. So, uh, yeah, but it will be available. And at the moment, I'm sticking with Coke. And I used to drink a lot of Coke, but now it's just so sweet. What are you doing? So, right, uh, Gerald says, is there any way uh, you can demo a tractor? Um, the what? A tractor. Can you oh, demo a tractor? Yeah, I mean, we did this? it briefly the other week, but I, it's hard to demo because... Are you doing? It's hard to demo without completely giving doing? away what it that? is. Um, you're aware of what it is, right? Yeah, yeah I know what it is. Yeah, 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 I don't... Yeah, well, basically, yeah, what you're seeing on the trailer is probably better because all we're going to do is, is, is get in trouble. I mean, we did, it. we did it. We did it yeah. when you were away. So, so the effect no, is a, any car could be signed... And return to the deck, and the nice thing about it is the spectator pushes it in themselves and closes up the deck. And just by putting the deck in your top pocket, you have not only glimpsed the card and seen the card they've chosen, but then you can also take that card out in a palm and load it anywhere else you want. So they believe the card is in the deck in your, your breast pocket, which is great misdirection, because they've sealed the box themselves, and then you can make the card appear anywhere. But the, the actual gimmick itself is... I said when we were doing the uh, live with Cash and I, it, it was the first thing I saw in Magic that made me go, that is wicked. You know, when yeah. you get those moments, just like um, Card in Bag. When I did Card in Bag the first time, I was like, that's stunning. Mm. It's one of those really cool, this is a secret I want to keep type effect. Yeah. Um, but you always want to show people, it's so clever how it does what it does. Yeah, it's wicked. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's difficult to, it's difficult to dem without just showing you what it is. Um, if you've got, what's the Daryl trick with the signed card where it's tied around the rope? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, good trick though. Yeah, yeah. It, it works. It works the same way that works. If that if that helps people. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, works. But basically, yeah. It's difficult not to give too much away because Alexam Pinardi wouldn't like us. If we we're showing his trick and kind of giving the secret. Oh, it's away, wonderful. So, yeah. It's, yeah. it's absolutely brilliant. I can't I can't praise it enough. It's a very very good trick. Right. We're kind of caught up on that, so let's get on with some questions on here. Yeah, uh, well, Cash has put these so together. So these, these are the questions that people have asked us in advance. So we always ask at the beginning of the day, say we're going live. If you've got any questions, post them now. And these are the questions people right, have Right, yeah. Them. So we've had lots of questions about Russian roulette type effects, particularly okay. screwed. Is, is this uh, been bought on by Hook? Uh, is it? No, no. This came out before we before Hook went live today. So, um, right. yeah, we've got a question here about screwed, and can we do a performance of it? Uh, this... This led us to then talk about Hooked, it led us to put that on the website, and led us to yeah. also mention uh, Shattered as okay. well. So, so um, what, hook, uh, what, what Screwed it. is, is basically, uh, it's a smash and stab routine, um, because a lot of them are very dangerous, even you know if you think you know what you're doing, and you can go wrong uh, yeah. on them quite easily. So I wanted to come up with a version that even the very worst case scenario went wrong, and you were to stab your hand on that, it's not going to go all the way through your hand and come out the other end. It's going to hurt, but it's not going to go through your well, hand. It's still quite sharp. Yeah, yeah. But if you look at it, that that's the only bit. The, the actual, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't the, the, go the through. Point, the point on this is going that way. It's yeah. not going up. No. It won't go through. It'll hurt like hell, and you get a big bruise in your hand, but it won't go through. But it looks really dangerous. And these ones here, you can smash down really hard. I won't go too hard because we've got glass under here. So uh, the idea with these is you're going to cover them with cups, spectator will mix them up, and one by one you're going to smash your hand down and you, you reveal it was bent, with bent, bent, and then the last one is going to be that one. And the way we've done this, it's our product so I can tell you this, there's a magnet inside the base of this one. So have you got anything that a mag magnet might sit I don't know how that works, that's great. I did not know yeah. that one. Yeah, here we go. So, so if, little... you, if you have a certain gimmick. Yes, so, see it's, it's attracted to a magnet. So there's a very powerful magnet inside it. Now, the thing is, we designed this initially to be used with the Sixth Sense 1 or 2, and it worked brilliantly. So with the Sixth Sense, you could have it up here, and you could come uh, back here, and you could instantly tell this far away which the gimmick was with the magnet in it. However, Sixth Sense 3 came out almost exactly as we released this, and it turns out Sixth Sense 3 is so, so powerful, so sensitive, that it picks up the metal on these, <laughs> and it also picks this up from about that far away. So the only kind of real way to do it is to have them about this far apart, and do it that way, which is never going to work. Um, and you can adjust the sensitivity on Six Sense Three on your phone. And we tried all the settings, and we just couldn't get it to work. So if you've got Six Sense One or Two, uh, it's going to work, but Three won't. Uh, there are a few other gimmicks out there that uh, do do um, work to attract magnets or, or 
locate magnets electronically, uh, they will hopefully work, but we haven't really tested them. So What's the yeah. other thing like, that's a bit like Sixth Sense? That's oh, there's a few cheaper. of them out there, I forget the We've name. We've got it, it's yeah. here somewhere. Um, but what well, I'm saying, the, the only one flux? I fully tested, oh, Flux, yeah, Flux, flux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only one I fully tested were the Sixth Sense 1 and 2, which are brilliant. I haven't tested it with Flux. Um, I, 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 we should do that, actually. We will do that. For so that, that's what it is. So that's why we don't push it or advertise it very much purely because of that reason. But that is um, uh, screw it. And of course, it's just a, a natural object that everybody's seen a corkscrew. Uh, whereas some of the spikes used in other things they haven't already seen um, obviously it's just bent over but people can recognize it still now the other thing that's really really good is shattered and totally safe yeah totally safe 100 percent safe so shattered uh, let me show you uh yeah i can show you so shattered is by nielsen magic and if you're aware of the nielsen coke bottles uh this is pretty much the same it's a nielsen beer uh, beer bottle Okay. It's so good this, this is, this and, is a brilliant piece yeah. of kit. So you get your bottles in here, and they are literally broken bottles, okay? And they look really, really good. So what uh, what you get with this is a little stand. Uh, these are little blocks that they go in. So you get those, they all go in there. Uh, you get a real hammer with it, there's a hammer in here somewhere. And you get loads of these bags that fit perfectly over the actual bottles. There's loads of them in there. So the routine is you are going to get a beer bottle and you're going to smash it a few times or, or bang it a few times so people can hear it's real. Okay, you're going to put it inside a bag, you're going to put it on the floor and then you're going to smash the bag and you're going to hear a broken bottle going everywhere and what you pull out of the bag is that. So that's already in the bag because it scrunches down nice and small, it's never going to be seen. So you can just have that inside the bag, get a real one, put a real bottle in it, you put it down, you smash it with the hammer, everybody hears it break and then you pull out that and then you put that down on there like that. So good. Yeah, it and it doesn't wicked. matter if you go wrong with it that, of wicked. course it's never gonna go. Yeah, you can just buy it just to do that. Should've got that blood pill, shouldn't we then? That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, that is shattered, really, really good, really, really safe. Um, and yeah, very much worth it, very well worth it. So, that is brilliant, isn't it? Look at yeah, that. It's really good, it looks amazing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's so really that's shattered, so uh, yeah. Okay, next question. Mine. All right. Here you go. And we, we do have that bottle up there. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Ultimate Ambition by Daryl. Thank uh, you, that's yes, the one. Yeah, that's thank the you, one. Mark. That's yeah. just back in, actually. That's Mark Super saying, saying that. So, uh, the new, the new that. version has come back in recently. We've got them in red and blue. Adrian Pritchard says, I won't constantly, uh, I won't, I use this constantly, bud. Uh, get the V2 edition. You won't be disappointed. There you go. Here we go. <coughs> it's a great trick. David great West trick. says, create a magic set for a magician on a budget. I don't understand the, is that a statement or a question, David? Uh, Troy Davis. A sorry. command. Uh, a command, yes. Um, uh, Paul Martin uh, says, have you got a pack flat sub trunk? Uh, no, mate, we haven't. All we've got is a, uh, Cash, you want to turn the camera around? It's a fire cage. Um, dun, dun. That's about all we've got, so mate. So we put Cash when he gets your names wrong or your, uh, your orders wrong. I, to be honest, Paul, I wouldn't even know where to start looking for one, mate. However, Scott Penrose, he's probably got one you can hire if you want to hire one. Um, well, you and uh, Dorota are going to be in a, a, a sub trunk routine, are you? Or you and Jamie, even. That'd be, that'd be fun. That would be good. Uh, Peter Burkett has joined. Katie Hall, hello, Katie. Bonjour, Katie. Uh, Katie's joined. Peter Burkett says, good evening, guys. Colin Watson, Adam Rees have joined. Uh, Martin says, what kind of cookie gimmick do you have in store? Do we have any cookie gimmicks? I presume bitten cookies are the ones you're on about. Oh, right? literally cookies. I had no idea what you're talking about. Um... I don't know. We have buy cookies, they're the Oreo ones. Uh, we we had the overstuff, yeah. but is that gone now? Uh, yeah. Overstuff we might be out of stock of, yeah. 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 Um, I, I, ugh, I don't know. If we could know. get overstuff, that would be amazing. I don't know. I there is actually, funny enough, I've just seen on um, on the supplier's the website, there is a, a cookie box that you can show empty and then have cookies appear in it. Okay. Um, so we good. can potentially yeah. get you one of those if you'd like one of them. Yeah. Um, as to bitten cookies, I haven't seen anything. I don't no, think. We, we did have a bite cookie. It was bite Oreo. So sure uh, Stephen Lever joined us. Hello, Stephen. Hi, Steve. One of our top customers. Paul Goodbody, uh, Gwillem, uh, ooh, Baguja, is that right? Gwillem? Colin, uh, Colin Watkins, uh, Adam Reeves, and George Copeland have all joined. Right, brilliant. Uh, Brian Robson, Halloween prop uh, was shattered as well. Yeah, it is kind of a Halloween. Yeah, yeah 100%. Any, anything yeah. that's going to scare them, yeah. Paul Goodbody says, hello, uh, Davis West. I meant, can you guys suggest magic routines for magicians on a budget? Um, there are loads out there, yeah. Um, I mean... If you can do anything with a pack of cards, that's a budget. So, you know, even just one book like Royal Road to Card Magic is probably about a £10. And you've got, you know, a lifetime's worth of magic yeah. if you're on a budget. But then there are some stuff. The best thing to do is just do a search of the website and, and do a sort order by price and you'll see the cheapest ones out there. But to sit there and, and, and list a whole load of stuff would be an absolute... Uh, 
Uh, well, too long a job for Compla this. So. Compilations are going to be your best bet, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Books and DVDs and stuff like that. Yeah. So I can't really be much more help on that, I'm afraid. Um, so a good question from Tom Brace that's just popped up. Okay, hang on. I'm still working my way down at the moment. So I've got to keep an eye on these. If I don't, they scroll up too much. Okay. And I can't scroll back down. I'll lose the questions. So uh, David Harris, can the roll-up pads be washed? Uh, no, they can't, uh, David. Um, ideally, what you want to do is use your baby wipe if you've got any dirty marks on them. Or use some, um, you can get a, like a, a shampoo. It's a dry carpet shampoo. You spray it on it, rub it in, and then you can vacuum it off. That's your best bet. Shake to um, Gwillem says, not even close. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Gwillem. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. you got uh, Gwillem. Well, I'm assuming you've got Gwillem, uh, yeah, right? Gwillem's, right? Yeah. Baguja? Baguja. 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 You say Baguja. I say, say Baguja. <laughs> yeah. Baguja. Yeah. You don't get Maybe this sort of magic, uh, magic um, shows, do you? Tom Brace says, can you fold the drink in the news gimmick so that you can do a tournament stored effect and then do drink in the news and restore paper or would you switch paper need to switch papers yeah so tom um i've suggested this to quite a few people and apparently there is a way of doing it i don't know i have not done it myself but i know a few people out there have said they have managed to do it especially now we have the tabloid edition with the uh, with the drink in the news um broadsheet. uh broadsheet thank you uh it was a bit more difficult it's big but with the smaller version you can use that in a broadsheet and you can do it a lot better apparently so uh yeah i, I haven't done it myself but apparently you can do it and then you can also finish off with a uh, hydrostatic drink as well. Yeah, I can't see any reason why with, uh, especially using, I use Axel's, um, what's it called, Newsflash. I can't see any reason why you couldn't do it. Darren the main does, did one. I will look into it. Sebastian says, apologies, sorry to say hello guys. Um, Paul Goodbody says, what's the best vanishing cane you have in stock? Um, oh. The metal ones, uh, not Taiwan band, the other ones. Um, Bond Lee ones. Bond Lee ones, yeah. The Bond yeah. Lees are definitely the best ones out there, uh, 100%. Um, Mark Super says, so what do you think is the most expensive trick or prop you have, just out of interest? The most expensive trick Dean's at the moment. Dean's box is uh, pretty... Yeah, Dean's box is quite expensive, about 300. That's really expensive, but that's not for sale, that's for hire. Um, I think Dean's box is nearly 500. Is it? I thought it was. I can't, can't, yeah, remember. Yeah. can't remember. Can't uh, remember. Quite a lot. Nothing really expensive. Um, Scott Alexander's stuff is quite pricey because they they want the exclusivity. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was a few I did things, look for it? it actually the other day. I was interested. I can't remember what it was. The it was in cups and balls. The custom I've, props we made in the past have quite often been more expensive yeah, than I think any Dean's box yeah. is probably yeah. the most out of the sort of regular items. Yeah, right. That is such uh, a great any package trick, trick recommendations by for Lucas? Uh, package trick recommendations. Um, Double back. Yeah, double back, very, very good. Ace by Richard Sanders is very good. NFW is very, very good. Um, uh, the, uh, the Garrett Thomas. Yeah, Garrett uh, Thomas, Stand Up Monty, Monty, that's really, really good. Um, Spectrum, I believe, is a Wayne Dobson effect with that Mike brought out. I think it's called Spectrum. Uh, that's great. I don't so know I about Spectrum. That. I can't remember. I think it's that. called Spectrum. Um, so, yeah, that's some recommendations. Um, oh, and the Skin of Monty uh, is kind of a package as well. Very, very yeah. good. So, where are you going, Bose? Where are you going? What have you got there? What are you doing? What are you doing? Should we do a question from the... Uh, yeah, sheet? yeah, you do one of those while Bobo sits there and chooses. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What have you got there? Bobo, you want to tickle? Right. Tickle. Um, any idea of the effect... Oh, oh crikey. The McComical? McCom yeah, Billy McCombs, McComical. Yeah, okay, so I have no idea what that is. The book's there. The book is there. Oh, right. I'll put it out for you. Okay. Um, so you're looking for an effect called... Um, what was the effect called again? It was um, McComb Deck. Have we any ideas on the effect Mac uh, McCombical Deck yeah. routine in the book? So uh, the I have never said it, never seen it, never read it, don't know anything about it. Really Mark Paul, don't we? isn't yeah. in the book. However, there's plenty of effects in the book that are just as good, but yeah. Mac uh, Macomb, uh, Macomb Deck isn't in... <laughs> It's kind of hard to remember. McComical Deck. McComical Deck isn't in the book itself. Okay. You've got I'm sure. Others, I'm sure McComical one of you there. brilliant people will. Uh, <laughs> sure, one of you brilliant people will know where to where to find uh, the McComical Deck. Uh, no, not on YouTube. Um, cool. Um, Mert James, I was looking at Spectro Touch. I do believe the first thing someone will do is look behind them. Any ideas of a way around this to make it more real? Okay, so you, you've got to tap on your shoulder. <coughs> oh, there's no one there. But there's someone there. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, they, they yeah. can't see. I don't think they they could see where. Shoulder, yeah, yeah, well, neck. But, but it's where you're on stage as well. They're on stage, they're in this position. Everybody is looking at them. If someone taps on the shoulder, if if they are going to look around, they're going to be like that. But he's already, in your routine, you already say, look, I'm going to tap you on the shoulder. 
did you feel something? Yes. And um, they're aware that you're being tapped on the shoulder. No one's going to look to say, oh, who's tapping on the shoulder? Because the routine is about that. And you tell them beforehand, yeah. I'm going to tap you. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of the Don't time, you've got, they've got their eyes shut as well, yeah, isn't it? Because it's the, the, the audience, yeah. you want their it's the audience shut. members that what, are seeing the... If you watch the routine, um, you'll see. But yeah, you're not going to have that problem. We've sold quite a few of them now. And everybody who oh, we're out of stock, yeah. absolutely loves it. Absolutely it's out of stock it. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, it's got great reviews. So... Um, yeah, it wouldn't have good reviews if it wasn't any good. Uh, so, Jake, uh, yes. Jake Allen said, has Apple fixed the microphone problem with the new update? Let's not talk about this because it's just going to anger Dave. Sorry, has Apple fixed the microphone problem with its new update? Oh, well, so, uh, no one's yes, complained it's not working yet. So, um, well, yeah. hopefully it's no, working. Well, that, that, is the problem. that was the problem on your phone. My phone was just a completely different problem. Oh, okay. uh, but we don't know 100% that was it. But some people are saying, oh, the microphone had just turned itself around. But that's not true at all because you're still here. Do you know what? I think, I think Steve Jobs would have made a good president over Donald Trump. He'd have made a good prop dog manager as well. Yeah, but then again, that is comparing apples to oranges. No, oh. <laughs> Gwilym Bajuja. <laughs> Straight back to Gwilym. No, he says that's how it's pronounced. Oh, it's red. brilliant. Okay. Red, red. Bajuja. Bajuja. Gwilym. Yes, thank you. Uh, right, okay. Oh, uh, let's get on with it. Peter Burkett, will you be getting any new tenure in, in uh, 2020? Uh, we don't really stock much tenure, do we? Well, we've got a bit, but it's sort of as and when, isn't it? We yeah. don't actively go looking for it. Maybe, I mean, Maybe we should. Maybe that's your challenge. Tenyo challenge. Okay, and the next couple of weeks, I want you to, I'm challenging you to get some more Tenyo products in stock. They sell well, people like them, and they're great for the kids that come in. They don't. Really yeah, they are really good. That yet. one with the pieces right. where you're making the square. The um. Do it. You're two weeks where you're sacked. Speaking what? Get more kids. Tenyo in. Yeah. Okay. We haven't had many questions about kids magic. Strange. Yet. Oh, well, Michael Kelly's just just. Biding his time. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give it a minute. Uh, can you make flash paper that looks like newspapers? Uh, good Ooh. call, actually. Uh, we could, in theory. Yeah, we could, in theory, get that printed. Um, if there's a call for it, but um, yeah. Oh, uh, imagine that. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Imagine that in a uh, tournament restored. Thing. You set fire and then. And yeah, then the maximum size, you ideally, you can have those 20 by 25, which is about that big. So you'll just have to look at no, like no, 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 but once, you've, once you've ripped it from, mm. once you've done the bit with the pieces, yeah. and then you light that first one and your restore is then. That'd be yeah. quite good, but it's quite hard to do the do the move and. Unlikely, you go, well, paper, newspapers are done on a very cheap recycling format, which means it's a very grey, it's not a very white paper. Um, yeah. So I don't know how it would look. I might be able to colour the paper grey, but yeah, maybe we'll get, I'll put it on the list of things to do. Good idea. Yeah. I've got two weeks to do it, or I'll sack myself. Okay, brilliant. All right. I'll be the only one working out at the end of this. <laughs> oh god. Oh dear. Yeah. Happy Halloween, folks. Um, right, uh, Otter. Oh, Otter, Dave. Otter was preparing to film a new video for us because he had okay. loads of volunteers in the workshop, yeah. but the weather was so bad he couldn't do it. Oh. So he's got ideas in the pipeline, which is a worry to anyone in Sweden, but fun for us. Well, the so, thing is, it's so cold in Sweden, there's not much going to burn down because by the time it sets on fire and starts to explode, the cold suppresses it all and it goes freezes. Yeah. Yeah. And he also asked if, oh, no, I've already answered this, but I'll answer it for the benefit of everyone else. Um, are there any good solutions for forcing, for buying a force die with a bigger dice so that, because small dice can't be seen on stage? Um, I've recently bought uh, Oliver Graham's brilliant effect uh, little squirts. He sold out of them at the moment, but it's amazing. Um, they use big dice, and I've also found a supplier of big dice. I think it's um, is it Martin Duffy, I believe, sells some large force dice, and they're probably about this big, uh, wooden, and they can be seen in a kids' show and on stage. So okay, check them out. Really good. Great. They they do. They're a force dice, but they're a bigger force dice. Speaking of Otto, he says that Faye Presto does the drink and torn uh, drink in the news yes, and does. torn restored on yeah. stage. Yes. Yeah. Um. This sort of threw me a bit. Michael Brimer said, what method do you use to clean up the dirty column on an out-of-this-world effect? Now, I've, I learned out-of-this-world when I, when I was starting and sort of thought I liked the idea of card magic. I don't understand what he means by the dirty column. Obviously, the bit where, where, the bit where you swap the columns over, is that what he means? I have never performed. Yeah, no, I've never done it. Never been in my I don't record. understand what... Because obviously... With a standard out of this world, they're choosing whether the cards are red or black, mm -hmm. and then there's a point in the routine where you have to do something in order for that to that to continue. I believe that's what he means. So the nearest I've got to that is White Star, uh, which I used to perform quite a bit, which is kind of like a an out of this world with photos and Titanic people who uh, people on the Titanic who died or survived. Very good, very good actually. Um, so how are you doing that then? How, how 
Do you know what I mean though? When I say I, about halfway just, through, you've got I, to do something. Well, I, you, well, and you don't in that one. So I, oh, okay. I just say, died. Uh, did someone die to survive? Die to survive? Or do you want this one? Or do you not want it? Do you want it? Or do you not want it? So you yeah, yeah. running out of cards. So you're doing that's it, okay. much it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really understand the question. I think that's what he means. Um, I do understand it because when I was like 14 presenting it, I just go, oh, we're just going to turn these around now and, and now this side's black and this side's red. Um, but yeah, I never needed to come up with a convincing way. People tended to be happy with that. I thought it was just in the interest of switching it up. But no doubt somebody will have an idea and, and can help uh, Michael. Before you go on, Davis West has a really interesting question uh, which says, you have a magic show in Vegas. You can pick five magicians in the world to oh. perform in it, draft your team. That's a really good question. However, you should have said, but you're not allowed to use anyone who currently performs in Vegas. Otherwise, I'd have said I'd have had David yeah, Cockfield, Matt, Matt King, Amazing yeah, yeah, Jonathan. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, you also should have been more specific. Do you mean dead or alive? I mean, if it's alive, then obviously yes. But you know, dead. There's a few out there, but it will probably be along the lines of uh, Williamson, uh, David Kay. Um, Ooh, that Leonard, is... Well, you got to have some for the kids yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, so no, have that's some good. For the kids as well. I think they both um, need that. Uh, Rocky, um, not you. Uh, no, okay. Cash. <laughs> no, sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, ooh, who else? Well, oh, to, to, Tommy Cooper, maybe. I was watching some Tommy Cooper earlier. Yeah, it depends just... whether dead or alive. Yeah. Mm. But just um... remembering how brilliant he was. Oh, we were, I'm going to do a trick for you in a minute, and Alex wanted to show me Probably Tommy's Shin handling. Lim as well. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Shin Lim, but he's, his, his magic is bloody. You want variety, great, don't you? Yeah, yeah. That's be good for close up. We've got Com uh, Williamson for the comedy. Who's, doing, got who's doing your big the, illusions? The who's doing your big illusions? Big illusion, probably uh, Hans Ferrari or, or, or Klopp. Um, oh, Klopp, yeah. yeah. Um, Hans Klopp. Yeah. Uh, now, Hans Ferrari is more camera stuff, isn't he? He's more TV illusion. So, yeah, go to Hans Klopp. Um, who's, doing your, who's doing your close up in the interval? Uh, Probably Lennart Green might be a good one. I like Lennart's stuff. He's got some really visual stuff that go down very well with the public. Um, Who's serving the ice creams? You. Cat. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I lined you up for it. Every oh, fair enough. I'm not serving the ice creams. That's the problem. No, Cash is the clown. <laughs> Cash, is, Cash is a little gesture with his little yeah. uh, curly things on. <laughs> At least I can see. So. I okay, great, great question, David. Great question. Uh, right. Tom Brace, I use News Flash 2 and I reckon you could glue in the, uh, glue it into yeah. a folder page. I don't see why you uh, couldn't. Tom. Uh, Pete Donnelly says hello. Hello, guys. Uh, hello, Pete. Uh, Wayne, Wayne Adams has joined. Simon Hill has joined. Ian Valletti has joined. Um, Frank, Valen Frank Valenti, I uh, don't know if he's a relative, um, said, can we give an honest review of Bang On 2.0? Is it worth the price? Now, I know lots of people that use Bang On and absolutely love it, but I've never seen it myself, so... I will look at it for next week. I've seen it and it is good. Never performed it, but like you, I know a lot of people who, yeah, who swear it by and it. swear by it. I've had it yeah, performed yeah. on yeah. me yeah. and had no idea how it was done. Um, Cash witnessed that as well. Oh, yeah. uh, but it's um, no from every. I don't know anybody that doesn't like it. We we never have people phone up with problems with it or have it returned. It's yeah, I, it's a solid a solid thing. It's, Mar I mean, it's Mark Oberon as well. It's no matter what, it's going to be bang on. Get out. Okay. <laughs> uh, Gwilym Badu just says stand up Monty is really good. Yeah. So there fantastic. you go. Uh, um, John Gordon has joined. Hello, John. Um, Adam Evans says hi, guys. Do you sell Walking Liberty shell set? No, we don't, unfortunately. Uh, best person to go to probably is um, uh, Mark Mason, I would say. He got a really, really good set he sells. Um, Brian Robson, will you be selling or stocking The Approach by Jamie D. Grant? I've had a quick look on the website, but can't see it there. Uh, I don't even know what The Approach is. Never heard of it. Uh, but I know Jamie quite well. Um, so if you want to drop us an email, um, Brian, to remind us, I'll drop uh, Jamie a ring, uh, an email, sorry, and I'll, I'll see if we can get it uh, in stock. So uh, Yeah, I've not heard yeah. of it. Jamie does the um, uh, card in bottles and the, um, uh, what do you call it, deck? The... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. The steel block inside the deck. I forget the name of it. Oh yeah, I, I, I should know because we were going to be building them for him at one time. In fact, we were going to be buying the rights to it. At one I've heard time, of Jamie. Yeah. I just not that yeah. effect. It's just not. It's just not coming on the radar. Yeah. And for someone that sees new magic <laughs> on an hourly basis, um, I'm quite good with names. I'd, um, nothing's come up. Well, Adam Evans has got a good idea for Spectra. He says if you want to do it uh, surrounded, get a scarf and put it on them as you put the gimmick on and make a story of the scarf. Good call. Yeah, yeah really idea. good idea. Yeah. 
Uh, Jim, Jim Critchlow says, have you any idea when Spectral Touch will be in? Uh, Murphy's out of it, are they? Yeah, completely. Yeah, and, until it's available wholesale, Jim, we don't know. That um, and Stasis, they're both, com they're both completely Yeah, they're out. sold out whenever the manufacturers make more and you know, get them over. So it's Jay and Miranda. Jay is pretty good, actually, at replenishing his stuff once it sells out. He, he's got a good manufacturing uh, logistical setup, so it yeah. shouldn't be too long. Talking of uh, Jay, we've got his um, his new accompaniment for Astonishing Bottle coming next week, so we'll be able to talk about that next Friday as well. Oh, okay. So that's, yeah. that's Jim Doherty's joined. Hello, Apple. mate. I hope you're well. Uh, Brian Robson, how long have you been trying to make the apple orange joke? <laughs> <laughs> I heard it the other day. You've done uh, it twice I heard already. It the other day. I heard it the other day after I spotted an albino Dalmatian. Oh. It was the least I could do. <laughs> I'm the only one that's allowed to sell um, that joke, to be honest. Gwilym says close enough on his name. So I'm going to read some more of these before we go on with those. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, sure. I've got to keep on top of these. No, we're almost we're done on those yeah, questions, yeah. so yeah, okay. we're flowing through uh, this. Michael Brimmer says, uh, Tenyo's corn winder car is great. Okay, uh, make a note of that. Corn winder uh, car. Corn winder, corn, corn, corn as in K-O-O-R-N. Corn winder car. Thank you for that, Michael. Uh, Sebastian uh, says, uh, hi guys, great show as usual. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you. Uh, do you sell the tiny... Plunger? No, M slash 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 S needed to build another stasis gimmick. Oh, the oh. Um, um, the M, M, uh, I presume. I mean, we sell a variety of M slash 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 S's. I wouldn't know how what size you'd need. We're talking prep here, right? No. No. Oh, okay. Well, I, I Fridge. Oh, oh, okay. All right, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I haven't seen the gimmick yet. You demmed it when I wasn't here. So, yeah, um, uh, yeah we sell a load of them. Um, you can find them all on the website. Just ask, do we sell magnets? Yeah, we sell magnets. Um, Lots so, magnets. So, uh, yeah, you will find it uh, somewhere on the homepage. Scroll down. Whether we've got the correct size or not. I, I have know. no idea what size you need because yeah. we don't have them anymore. But if, oh. you have, if you have it and you're not sizey, I'll just have a look on the bottom of the page. We sell loads of them, although we are running low of a lot they of do, magnets. Um, they do talk about how to make up... Uh, a new gimmick on the yeah. on the trailer, so uh, on the instructions. So, Michael Fitch says, "Can we get the Jim Stein my impossibilities booklets in? We did sell them. We used to sell them, but they weren't. They went out of stock, and I don't think they've been able to get back in since. Uh, Cash, go and have a quick look on Murphy, see if they've gotten back in. But we haven't had them for a while. And I think they were disabled from the website. They're still on there, but disabled. So it's the uh, Jim Stein my impossibilities." Uh, you might have to Google Google Fred, first Fred to get the correct spelling of it. Otherwise, yeah. Steinmeier is a nightmare to spell. Uh, Peter Burke says, looking forward to getting the new rope bag and card trick. Tenure looks good. Uh, I don't know what that trick is, but... Um, uh, Tenure sounds exciting, doesn't it? That's, yeah, that's okay. Like uh, Michael Fitch, I need there to be... Th <laughs> he needs three more to, uh, to, uh, to complete the collection, sorry. Uh, Adam Evans says, uh, there's no dirty column without uh, out of this world. Well, not the one I do. Uh, you start clean and end clean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. That, was, that was what confused me. Uh, Pete Donnelly says, tell him to PM me. Um, are we talking about here? Um, Pete, tell him yourself. I don't yeah, know who yeah. you're asking. Okay. Uh, Tom Crocker, what are your opinions on EVP by Alan Rawson? Excellent, Brilliant. very, very good, especially around Halloween. Uh, yeah. And you can, that's one trick that you can really make people's hair on the back of the neck stand up. If you, uh, I presume you know what it is, and if you do a good little setup on it and you, you have a little bit of a think about what you're going to say and what the answers are going to be, you can really freak people out. I mean, you yeah. get goose pimples on and spine tingling chills because people get freaked out about it. So, yeah, very, very good, especially around Halloween. Yeah. Um, Got something called relaxed impossibilities. Relaxed no. impossibilities or impossibilities? Impossibilities. It's impossibilities we're looking for. If you Google Jim Stein my impossibilities, Google will then tell you the quick spelling of it. You can then copy and paste that into Murphy's and get the exact one if they've got it. Uh, right, uh, Michael says that's what I mean. Uh, uh, White Star by Jim Critchlow. Yes, yeah, White Star. Uh, brilliant trick, Jim. Thank you for that. Um, and yeah, I love it. Uh, I've got some very old antiques I got that go with it as well. Um, and that's another one that sends people's hairs on end and spine tingling stuff uh kato says change uh, change the brain sides of the people the brain sides i'm not sure what you mean by that kato the brain sides of people change the mind of people uh, otter says my team stuart mcdonald tom stone xavier mortimer cardini and miguel, miguel munoz um i've not seen miguel munoz and oscar munoz uh, Cardini, yeah, good call. Uh, that's if we're allowed dead. Uh, Tom Stone, yeah, never good call actually. Tom's a very good visual magician. Uh, and Stuart McDonald, don't know much of his stuff, Otter. 
Davis West, am I the only one that gets annoyed with Shin Lim? He's talented, uh, but can you make just a card disappear without staring into the camera whilst Hans Zimmer plays? <laughs> That's quite funny, that is. I like it that. is. That's blue steel, isn't it? Yeah. He's yeah, lost yeah. far too much of, uh, um, what do you call it? Blue steel. But yeah, he, he, yeah, he's just one of those people that just, he's a little bit too cheesy and smug about what he does. That's why I said I'm not that keen on him, but he's very visual. But yeah, he's just a little bit too much of a, I love myself. Hope he's not watching. Sorry, Shim. Yeah. Davis. Uh, am I the only one that gets it? Oh, yeah, no, I've just read that one. <laughs> Ah oh, crap, this is Otto, Otto by the way. Ah oh, crap, just realised Xavier does already have his own show in Vegas. Ah, oh. oh, unlucky uh, Otto. Tom Brace, from what I know of Hook, it's completely safe. Uh, does it require refills? Uh, I don't know until I've seen it, Tom, unfortunately. I mean... We'll let you know on Friday. Uh, next, No, uh, yeah, next Friday we'll let you know. I'm really interested in it, but for me... <laughs> if I will so do that. If you've got a hook in your mouth, is that completely safe? Nope. I, I mean... I mean, yes, um, in theory. Right. I mean, he, it he is, isn't it? The, hooks, but the hooks are going to be blunted, almost. I mean, I don't know for sure, but they're going to be blunted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still, but, um, I don't know. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm yeah. very excited. And um, thank you. Um, it's, not, it's not happening in the kids' show, though. <laughs> well, why not? I think it'd be pretty good. Um, uh, where was I? I lost my place there. Yeah, Adam Evans says, uh, just revelation. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that, that's the, the block of. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Well, it's not been really released in the UK because it's so heavy, people don't buy it. And um, we're going to buy the rights to, to produce it. Um, but uh, there, it's too technical for me to make here. We haven't got the equipment to do it. And uh, the people who do our metal work for us in Taiwan, they made a load and they just didn't come quite up to standard. And uh, yeah, Jamie didn't want to let it go until it was absolutely perfect. So he's going to carry on making them. Uh, right, Kato says, great book, um, and Kato also says, The Approach. Uh, I'm going to go back to find out what Kato said before that. Uh, Kato, when we're reading these things out, there's a long delay between what you say and what we read, yeah. so we, you, what may sound make sense to you sometimes doesn't make sense to us because we've got to go back for a load of um, uh, emails to, to, or messages to find it. So he says, change my life. Um, right, Walter McGurn, uh, thanks for a great Friday. Hope you want to have a good week. Yeah, thank you, you too, Walter. Walter. You have a good weekend. See you next week. Uh, Gwillem says, um, uh, When will double blank cards be in stock, please? Are they not in stock? No, what? Double blank cards? They should be. I think they are. They should be. Can you check cash? And if not, can we? Well, we're doing uh, an order road. in yeah. the next five minutes. Timmy so. Taylor, hello, buddy. Uh, good afternoon. Hope all is well. It was nice to pop in and see you the other day. Can't wait to come up uh, again uh, in November. It was more than the other day, Timmy. It was a long time ago. Just after you shaved your big beard off. Um, Jim has them on his site. Right, uh, so you won't find them. Jim uh, has them on his site. That's Jim Steinmeier yeah. for everybody. Uh, so maybe we can have a word with Jim Steinmeier and, uh, himself and see if uh, he uh, sells them. So um, I saw him in Vegas. Uh, not Vegas. Um, uh, Genie Convention, actually. I should have asked him then, but didn't know. Uh, right, can you print a T-shirt for me for Blackpool if I design it? And says Adam. Um... We don't really print t-shirts in house, Adam. All we'd do is go to a t-shirt printing company to get them done. We don't do these ourselves. Well, these are actually embroidered. But yeah, we got a machine that would print if we had all the sublimation uh, printing stuff, but we don't. So uh, yeah, unfortunately we can't, Adam. Um, just go to a t-shirt printing There's company. So There's there, there. so yeah. many good ones. Uh, Cosmos 2 for Out of This World. Uh, thank you, Adrian. That's a good tip on that one. Uh, Simon has joined. Uh, did we answer Simon's question? I saw, Simon's, I saw his name on there. Oh, we did, yes. Yeah, yeah okay. we've done the both. We've done your questions, Simon. We have to rewind after the show and watch it. Uh, Michael says, thanks, Dave. Uh, Otar, did you guys have demos for us this week? Uh, we're trying to get through to any of this stuff, but we can't because we're continuously answering questions. <laughs> we'll try in a minute. Stop asking questions. Uh, <laughs> Hannes says, um, is Magnetic Airborne better than the uh, original version? Um, <sighs> Well, yes and no. It has its, its advantages, yeah. 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 The, 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 there's good things to it and down, uh, down points. It's very expensive for what it is. Interchangeable um, there's a bit of a, There's a bit of a... You've got to kind of put some effort into releasing it where the old version you can just kind of scoop off. So it has advantages, but uh, not brilliant. Um, Shane Serial Hook does not require refills. Thank you, Shane. Uh, Nick Frisbee, do you still upgrade the Wonder Pops you supply? Yes, we do, but they're not available, Nick. We were just talking about that earlier. No one's got them at the moment, um, so until they make more, we won't have them. Uh, Shane Serial, the hook is still sharp, but the barbs are blunted. There you go. Um, still. Walter McGurn, are we sending uh, a buying list around October the 30th for his birthday? 
Uh, okay, thank you, Walter. Uh, Chris Kelly, uh, hook only needs threads to replace, but it's very safe. I performed it with no issues compared to a single needle trick. That's great. I'm great. really looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, Can't me wait. too. Uh, Timmy Taylor, it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm away up to Watford. Unfortunately, Dave, you weren't there. Oh, I see. I was in uh, Florida. Okay. Uh, and Pete Donnelly says, uh, Dave, by the way, I've got the commission yesterday. Oh, great stuff, mate. Excellent. Good on you, sir. <laughs> uh, he's gone for his commission. He was a warrant officer, one. He's now got his commission. So, uh, he'll no now idea be, what he's um, talking about. Um, uh, so, um, you know. Um, Pete Donnelly, comes yeah. In. yeah, yeah. So he's a uh, one officer one. Uh, right. he, he had his commission board the other day telling us that he was going in for it, and oh. he's now a commissioned officer. Oh, well done. So uh, yeah, he's. Uh, I, I, I think you said you start off straight as a captain, don't you? You miss lieutenant, uh, I think. Um, but yeah. Congratulations. Uh, I, I, now I would have had to salute him, but no, not anymore. Yeah. Well, so uh, the there, there goes the uh, the magic career for Wild Pete. So uh, yeah. Right. Uh, Michael Brimmer, thanks Pete for your response. What a great show with great people. Thank you, Michael. Thank Go on you. the Magic Cafe and tell them that on the Stasis, the Stasis thread. Go and tell them that. Oh, just on any us. thread. Uh, any thread again? Just on any thread. No, just, just that Stasis thread. Those idiots slating the show. Well, in fairness, okay. in fairness, there were a couple of people. I mean, I can't believe I wasted my time I'm actually going to read it, but. There were a couple of people that were really, uh, really supportive of. There were a couple, thing. yeah. So it's nice to know that there yeah, are people yeah. that, that are in our corner. Yeah. Right. Well, we do it for you, so I'm not doing it for myself, I'm not performing it, I'm, I'm doing it to help you guys out. Jonas says, uh, do you do large custom sponge, sponge products? I need a large sponge parrot. Right, okay, so uh, we don't make them here. Mila, um, who packs up all your orders, that's her little thing. We've given that to her as a sideline and she will make you virtually anything. However, she makes them out of real sponge balls. They're not real sponge because everything she makes can be squashed down really small. Whereas if you buy some of the other stuff, uh, like the Alexandra, uh, what, what's her name stuff? His, yeah. his stuff is great, but it, it's made from normal sponge, like you'll get in a bed or a mattress that doesn't squash all the way down. And the problem with sponge balls is the largest they do is five inches. So although she can probably make you a parrot, it's whether she can make you a large one or not, I don't know. But it depends what you want. Do you want one that you're going to be able to squash all the way down or not? I know she doesn't hold big sponge, but she might be able to do it. So the best thing to do is to contact her direct on her Facebook page, which is Mila's Custom Sponge Creations. So if you just type Mila, M-I-L-A, Mila's Custom Sponge Creations into Facebook, you'll bring up her page with all the amazing stuff she makes out of sponge balls and drop her a question and then she'll be able to let you know, yes, I can or no, I can't. And it uh, will be brilliant. And it will be utterly amazing. It'll be better and than you think it'll be. Give you an example. Oh yeah. It's beyond reason how good these things are. I to give you an example of how good they are, these so are all impressed. made from genuine sponge balls. So uh, uh, look at the little Mario though, he's amazing. Uh, sponge oh, emojis, poo emojis, uh, you've got Santa Claus over there, um, Angry, Bird. Angry Birds, yeah, all kinds of weird and wonderful things she does. And they are all genuine sponge balls. So each and every one of these you can do just a routine. And she makes a, a ton of different gimmicks. I mean, these are just the ones that uh, she's made extras for the show, but they all go really small, just like normal sponge balls. Yeah, so they're actually can, the same as sponge yeah, balls, yeah. You can do your, your, whole, uh, your whole routine uh, as you would with them normally. So yes, speak to Mila, and she is great. And she makes a ton of them now for all kinds of people. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, right, do a few more from the sheet. Um, Hey guys, this is from Daryl Barry. Mm. Would we recommend any routine or ideas for banshee throwing cards? Right. Um, well, they're not. They're, thro they're cards. throwing cards. I mean, I would. I would, You've got several routines, haven't you? Where you're, you're throwing at targets again, but it's throwing cards at targets. You know, you could have an assistant. You could you could blindfold yourself and get really good at it. Um, that's actually not bad. One of the one of the gimmick blindfolds. <laughs> Where you, we, can, you know, you can see. Just watch myself being stupid on the camera. <laughs> we used to sell throwing uh, cards, as in they were proper throwing cards. They were metal cards. You can buy them on AliExpress. Um, I don't think you can still get them, but they were literally a playing card made out of metal with sharpened edges, and you just throw them, and they stick in wooden doors really? and trees and stuff. They were amazing. Well, the Banshees are the yeah. Whistlers, aren't they? With the um... uh, right there, yeah. 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 Oh. Right, uh, Kato so says, Jamie D. Grant, The Approach is, uh, is a great book about the way, oh. uh, about his way and the history of how he became a professional. Oh, okay. Banshees, there you go. Version one and two. Chris Kelly, uh, what will be next? The throwing hammer type gag? <laughs> Have you thought about making it? I've heard great reactions. I'm going to make a sponge chainsaw next. Oh, there we go. <gasps> I won. <laughs> you won. A uh, couple of questions on here. Scott Perry, Wonder Cutter was mentioned a few shows ago, but it's sold out everywhere. Are we able to recommend another per, per precision cutting device? Um, I mean, 
No, not really. I don't know of any other device out there. I mean, we've got the corner rounders. Um, what, is, what is it? I don't know what it is. What's, what is uh, one I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's a, a jig that you put the cards in. You have a, a, a device that will slice oh, all the okay. cards. If you're doing short card, long right, cards. Right, I got you, okay. Or Sven Gardies, that kind of thing. Uh, and then Ian uh, Smith has said, have you guys had a chance to play with triple intuition yet? And again, I... No, I don't even know what it is. There's a similar effect called good intuition that I was looking at earlier. And it's not something that we stocked. It's not something that I think we're going to stock, but um, I mean, I, I like my card stuff. But it that, started. No. It started. It started. Mm. Uh, right, let's. We're running out of time now, so let's quickly talk about some of the new stuff here from Tommy James. Yeah, so Tommy James. Oh, you. Yeah. Right, Tommy James uh, brought out loads, well, not brought out, but we've brought in uh, loads of Tommy James's stuff. Now, for those of you that don't know, Tommy is uh, a fantastic children's entertainer. The first thing I'm going to recommend for you is his three Birthday Party Mania DVDs. If you've got any interest in children's magic or just want to know how to handle kids on um, for your gigs and things, uh, it's brilliant. It's a masterclass. I wish I'd seen it when I started. Uh, Gary Dunn's DVD is fantastic. It's the one we talked about last week, but I watched... I had one of them playing in the background while I was working, and yeah, it sounds brilliant. It's it's all the it's all the tick boxes that I know make a good children's show. And there's three DVDs. He shows you all the tricks and then talks about them on a second DVD. It's it's brilliant. This is what we did earlier, or what Cash did earlier. Uh, flashcard opener. This is a nice way to open any uh, show for a compare kids show. You know, if you're, a, if you're a comedy magician, you can come out and do the Are You Ready to See Magic, which is quite nice. Um, they're brilliant. We've got kids' cards across, we've got Christmas cards across. Kids' cards across is lovely with apples and bananas. So obviously kids okay. don't get really cards across. They they understand it, but it's nice to have something made specifically for them. The, what Tommy's done is he's made uh, lanyard necklaces. So he counts the cards for the kids. He goes, how many apples have you got? Ten. He puts them in the necklace around the neck, and then they don't play with the cards, which is nice. So he's got ten apples, ten bananas does all the by play three apples go across to the bananas they can then remove them from the necklaces themselves count them and so the seven and 13 so yes cards across but for kids he's also got christmas ones with ball balls we've got abc blocks we've got uh loads of stuff comeback spider what's that this this is fun uh this is fun this is um we'll do it now Again, uh, for the cafe, I've done this uh, three times. Um, I've got some cards here, and these are cards that are all related to magic and magicians. So, um, yeah, let's talk about them. Well, we've got we've got a magician's hat. Okay, it could be worn by um, Harry. Um, what's the famous magician? Harry. Enfield. Uh, what? Enfield. Enfield. I'm joking. Harry. Um, Possum. Houdini, Harry Houdini, and um, we got a magic wand that could be um, that could be waved by uh, Harry um, Potter. Potter, Harry Potter, and then we've got uh, our friend the rabbit. This is Harry, Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry. Yeah, we'll, we're not doing the jokes. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the cards inside here, and we're going to do an observation test. So I'm going to put the cards in there, and then I'm going to draw them out one at a time, and I'm going to test you. Dave, if you'd like to go around there, because it's a bit rubbish if you see it from this side. Okay. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw them out one at a time, and I'm going to test you on your memory. Now, this first uh -oh. item is something that a magician would wave in their hand. Uh, a wand? Very good. It's a wand, everybody. Fantastic. Well done. Now, this second item... Uh, let's just choose one of them. Uh, yep, we'll go for this one. This second item is something a magician would wear on their head. A hat. Now, what Come does on. that leave? What does that leave inside here? A bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit. Now, my job is to make the rabbit disappear. Do you want to see it? Yes. Ready? One, two, three! Uh, I don't believe you. It's gone, Dave. It's gone. No. It really has. It's gone. I'll show you. I'll show you the. I'll show you. No, no, no. I'll show you the back. My, show you my the, hair is also gone. I'll show you the back. Look, you can see the back. You can see. <laughs> you can see the back. Yeah, it really has. It's in there. No, no, no. It's gone. It's on the back. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's not on the back. No, no, it's, not it's on, on the, the back. back of the car. On oh, the back of the car. Oh, hold on, I'll check. No, there's nothing on the back of the it's car. It's on the back of the no, car. No, there's nothing on the back of the car. Ooh. How cool is that? So, yeah, nice little routine. Um, Tommy Cooper did one uh, with yeah. uh, with cards on on YouTube. It's very funny, and it's yeah, same it's effect, but on it. really nice. Nice, nice, nice prop, nicely made, nice cards. Does a job. Great for a kid show. Did you catch my joke then? Go on. You said my hair's also gone. I did, yeah. I, yeah. Mm. I mean, oh, I'm good. used to ignoring children when they call out in the show. 
I was really chuffed with that. It's my only proper joke of the day. <laughs> Sorry. It was on that. That wasn't rehearsed. That was just that fast wit. Well, yeah. I mean, that's a great little trick, that. I do. Oh, like right. Okay. What Thanks do you think questions. of that? As someone that has little interest in kids' magic. I'd watch it if I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's your second joke of the day. No, no. It's, it's nice. The, the vanish of the card is nice. It, it's it, good, it, isn't it's it? one of those things. Uh, um, yeah. The adults are going to be watching in the back of the room going. <laughs> well, Alex. I showed yeah. Alex because I actually practiced this one. Um, yeah, from recent events. I practiced it and Alex went, oh, no, a minute. And then went up and had a look yeah, and, yeah. and obviously, you know, figured it out because yeah, he works in a magic shop. imagine so. the kids at the back, the adults at the back talking like that and just watching that. Thing. Well, it's one of those ones that I, if I had a couple of 10 year olds at the back and I'd go, well, you know, I'm here for a five year old. So this is where, you know, you're well intelligent. It's way too intelligent for this. So I'll do something really stupid that you'll, you know, you'll work out how it's done and, you know, and then fool them like that. And that's, that's quite funny for, for those older kids there at the back thinking they're cool. Um, but yeah, that's no, lovely, really good. And it's all been great quality. I'm really impressed with it, all the stuff we've got. You won't be disappointed. Um, Comeback Spider is an absolute classic. It's, it's really good. I'll try and perform it for you next week on Halloween. Awesome. Is it next week, Halloween? Uh, well, it'll, next week will be the last... It'll be the last Friday yeah, before yeah, Halloween, yeah. won't it? Yeah. Do you watch Family Guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Episode, uh, sorry, series 13, episode one and two. It's a crossover of The Simpsons. Have you seen that one? I've seen those. I watched yeah, it last yeah. night. It's a two, two-part series. Brilliant. That was so good. Really right, before that. we go, before we go, I've got to recommend. Dave got me onto a TV program. If you want something six part to watch, what's it called? The Capture. Capture, yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I'm mean, not going to say any more B about it. BBC, it's on iPlayer. Watch it. Um, Phenomenal. On demand, yeah. Six part, one hour episodes. Really, really good. Really I've got good. One, one left. Soon, yeah. One left. Yeah. Proper okay, right. Before we go, uh, Jonas says uh, thank you. I may need some large parrot for the finale of my comedy dove act that only uses sponge doves yet. So Mila should be able to help you out there, Jonas. Uh, Otto says, uh, Nicola Arcane's new book on children entertainment is also really good. Uh, do you want to make a note of that um, yep. at some point and maybe um, uh, see if we can get that in? Um, uh, Otto says, uh, Nicol Nicola um, Arcane. Nicola as in Tesla, as in NIK. Okay, yeah, brilliant. NIK, I'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Russell Davis target. has joined. Too late, Russell. We're just finishing, buddy. Um, <laughs> have you still got that house in Fairham? Uh, no, I haven't, Russell. I got rid of that eight, eight years ago. Uh, no, not at all. Nine, nine years ago. How long have we been here? Ten years ago. My God, I've been here a long time. Eleven years ago. Long time, Russell. Long, long time. Nine years ago. I, I'm, I'm proper Londonarian now. Is that how you say it? Londonarian? London. 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 I can say Londoner. Yeah, Londoner. Yeah. Yeah. Proper Londoner now, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, that's it for us. So, um, yeah, it's a, a, a busy one. That's an hour and twenty. So, uh, I've yeah, got Murphy's order to just, do. just a lot of questions going on on there. So, it's good that we're this popular. So, um, yeah, thank you all for it's joining good us. They can hear us. If any of yeah, I haven't got it's still working. Uh, if any of you go into the Magic Circle Dealers Day tomorrow, I will see you there. Come and visit us, come and say hello. Uh, oh, I say us, me, no one else is coming. They're all working. Sorry, yeah. privilege of having Cash me. Cash is going on holiday. I'm going on Yeah, holiday. well, uh, guys, yeah, thank you all for watching, and uh, we will see you later. Oh, wait, almost this. Um, Dan says, uh, looks like a blonde uh, vertusian of you. Uh, and uh, Otto says thanks for amazing stream as usual. Um, and Peter Burkett says thank you guys for a great show. You're most welcome, guys. Have, Have a, a good weekend. weekend. Have a good gig. Bye bye. bye.